A major AEW star is stepping down from certain shows. But first, more WWE releases have been confirmed. On Thursday, news would break that more than 20 wrestlers had been cut from their WWE contracts, this following the recent TKO merger of you in WWE after the Endeavor takeover of the wrestling company. Many of those were well-known names in WWE, including Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin, Mustafa Ali, and Emma. This mixed in with other names from the main roster and NXT. Well, we now have news on one more main roster name that's hit the free agency market, this time being former WWE United States Champion Matt Riddle. The news would first be broken by Riddle himself, who would take to X to post the following statement, and he would write, just wanted to inform everyone that I'm no longer with WWE. Thank you for the memories and opportunities. Also, thank you to all the fans for the support and love you give me every time I go out to the ring. See you all soon. According to Fightful Select, Riddle's release is linked to several incidents in recent years, with him most recently taking to social media to claim that an officer at JFK Airport sexually assaulted him, leading to an internal investigation by the Port Authority, who was said to be shocked by the allegation. Fightful noted that a WWE higher-up has told them that he has burned through too many chances while in WWE, which ultimately led to the decision. As for Riddle's future, I did release a video earlier today titled what's next for the WWE releases of September 2023, where I went into detail as to what I think will be next for each main roster talent from this round of cuts, so be sure to check that out after this news update. And before we go on to our next story, two other WWE releases have been confirmed since last night's video, the first of which being WWE Performance Center trainee Melody Brzezinski, who took to Instagram to announce that her contract with the company has been cut. She would never become a fixture of the NXT women's division, although she has made a cameo as a student of Chase U. The news comes just less than one day since an announcement from fellow trainee Abule Abadi Fitzgerald, who shared the news of his release on his LinkedIn page, taking the total number of releases since our last news video to three, whilst the number of releases in the past two days has now reached 24. And next, new champions were crowned on AEW Rampage. On last night's episode of All Elite Wrestling's Friday Night Show, Brian Cage, Korn, and Toa Leona of the Mogul Embassy would put their ROH World Six-Man Tag Team titles on the line against Hangman Page and the Young Bucks. Despite the best efforts of Swerve Strickland, it was the Bucks and Page that left with the titles after a roll upon Cage was enough to score the pinfall. The victory is the latest chapter in the ongoing feud between Strickland and Hangman man who are set to go one-on-one -on -one at WrestleDream next weekend. This is the second time Paige has held the Ring of Honor six-man belts, with both reigns being alongside the Young Bucks, with the latter having an additional reign in their resume alongside Cody Rhodes. The win now ends the Mogul Embassy's 286-day reign with the six-man titles, belts they won at the second-ever Tony Khan booked Ring of Honor show, Final Battle, in December 2022. The booking decision continues the trend of putting ROH titles on AEW regulars with Eddie Kingston now holding the ROH world title, Samoa Joe being the reigning television champion, and perhaps most notably AEW world champion MJF holds the ROH tag titles alongside Adam Cole. Perhaps this could be a sign that big plans are ahead for the ROH brand, although we'll have to see how things play out in the coming weeks and months. And next up, a huge match has been added to WWE Fastlane. Rampage wasn't the only wrestling show that aired last night, as WWE would host SmackDown live from Glendale, Arizona. On the show, John Cena would appear once again, with him targeting a tag team match alongside AJ Styles against the Bloodline duo Jimmy Uso and his younger brother Solo Sokoa. With that said, in the end, the match was instead added to Fastlane, when the Phenomenal One was taken out backstage by the heel team, forcing him to be taken away via an ambulance, leaving an open spot as seen as partner up for grabs. During the eventual contract signing segment, the leader of the C Nation would attempt to hold his own against the brothers in a two-on-one scenario, although he would find himself laid out in the middle of the ring. The original plan was for LA Knight to take the spot alongside Cena, although according to Fight for Select, his involvement in the segment had to be put on hold after Knight was sent home from the building after testing positive for C-19. With the fast lane event just two weeks away, we now await to find out if the megastar would be back on screens in time for the big showdown, or if WWE will be forced to replace him. 
And next, a current WWE superstar was close to a UFC debut. A bulk of the headlines in the wrestling world over recent weeks have been linked to the merger between UFC and WWE, with there being questions over how much crossover there would be between the two companies. With the MMA and wrestling promotions now under one single banner as TKO, it does seem much less likely that a wrestler would turn to MMA with it being a completely different ball game. although one current WWE star appears to still have the itch for combat sports. Speaking with Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful this week, former Golden Gloves boxer Baron Corbin would reveal that he was once torn between the wrestling ring and the octagon before turning his focus to his career in WWE, and Corbin would note, I know that in the early stages of Ultimate Fighter, I was looking at going, but I had a football scholarship when I was going to college, so I couldn't do that. When I was done playing football, I was sitting there with a guy who was a manager of a rock and roll band. He's like, what do you want to do if you're done playing football? I was like, man, I think I am done. My passion is not there for it. He's like, do you want to do UFC? I said, I either want to do UFC or WWE. So I've always been a massive WWE fan. It was like, I'm either going to try and fight in the octopus gone or I'm going to go to WWE and I had the opportunity for WWE first and then that's where they're at. I still am like should I go try to do like an NAGA Jiu Jitsu tournament? Should I try to fight in the Golden Gloves again or should I try to fight Jake Paul? And next we have the real reason for this major WWE release. As mentioned earlier in the video many names have been let go from their WWE contracts over the past couple of days including the popular Mustafa Ali. Just over one week before his NXT North American Championship challenge against Dominic Mysterio at NXT No Mercy on September 30, Ali was released despite the match already being officially announced. We now have a fresh report from House of Wrestling, who have spoke to a source within WWE regarding the reason for this specific cut, with the feeling being that WWE were never really going to fully back the talented star, and the report notes, a WWE source said they do not believe Ali was ever going to get the opportunity to really shine the company. Those we spoke to who spent time around him during his brief WWE NXT run tell us he was always upbeat and smiling, even though some could tell he was unhappy with his position. The same source would describe Ali as the ultimate pro and that he appears to have not been totally caught off guard by his release. As for the reasoning for the release, one of the factors that appears to have come into play was a recent politically themed vignette that aired on NXT television where he would call for a North American champion who the fans can be proud of. This is a gimmick that Ali had pitched during his time on the main roster, although it never came to be. It's said that some within WWE freaked out when they saw the promo hit the air as Fox had expressed nervousness about such a character during his initial pitch. And finally, the report confirms that Ali was set to be present on the upcoming episode of Monday Night Raw to advance his NXT storyline with North American champion Dominic Mysterio, who is set to defend his belt against Dragon Lee on the show. And next we have the latest on the rumoured WWE ring name of a former AEW champion. Former AEW TBS champion Jade Cargill would recently leave the company following the expiration of her contract, with reports noting that she's now WWE bound. On September 19, WWE would file for a trademark for the term Jada Parker, with fans speculating on if this could be the new name for the company's latest signing due to the similarities. With that said, that theory has officially been debunked as NXT star Tiana Caffey has since changed her Instagram handle to Jada Parker WWE, which confirmed that the name was never for Cargill after all. It will be interesting to track if Jade will keep her AEW name, which is of course her real name, with a change sometimes being a requirement before reaching television. With that said, there has been some exceptions to the rule. But do you think Jade Cargill will get a brand new WWE name when she signs the dotted line? Let me know in the comments down below. And next, a major AEW star is stepping away from certain shows. This past Wednesday on AEW Dynamite Grand Slam, Eddie Kingston would walk away as both the ROH World and NJPW Strong Openweight Champion, this after his big win over long-term rival Claudio Castagnoli. Taking to Instagram earlier today, Kingston would reveal that due to his current obligations with AEW, ROH and New Japan, he would now be stepping away from independent dates and he would write, 
Due to being NJPW's strong open weight and ROH champion, I've come to the hard decision that I will have to stop doing independence. Dealing with a lower back injury right now that I need to get fixed and will so I can be ready for all NJPW strong shows and all free AEW shows. When my responsibilities as NJPW and ROH champion is over, I will hopefully be able to do independence again. I apologize to all, but I just need to focus and my body needs to be ready for those shows. The news follows a series of announcements that Kingston had been pulled from various independent shows, most recently an absolute intense wrestling event on September 16. And before you go, make sure you check out what's next for the WWE releases of September 2023.